right, here we are. Canadian junkyard. Okay, pro tip here. Hey everybody, welcome back to your favorite YouTube show, Fixing Random Crap with Craig. Today we are not fixing anything, but we are going to share a recipe uh, that we love here. A lot of it's sponsored by Costco, actually, um, of dill pickle chicken nachos uh, with barbecue sauce instead of salsa. So you see we have our, uh, our chips on the go. I like to use the Tostitos too, but we got the Kirkland K Passes going today. Uh, we got a nice distribution here. We're going to put, we, you see we've already put one layer of the Rufus Teague. Love this barbecue sauce. And Costco just picked it up, which gave me, brought me great joy. So you see a nice even distribution there. Um, now we're going to hit it with the Mott's, mozzarella cheese. And we're going to pop that in the oven and let it melt for a bit. And uh, then we're going to go and put some uh, some uh, of these pickles. They, these are the only things that are not from Costco. You can get any, like, dill pickle. Cut up your dill, and then uh, we're going to sprinkle a little bit of feta on top of there, too, with the chicken. And, um, actually, I think I might mix the chicken in more with the cheese. Yeah, I think that's going to get, it's going to be cheese, chicken on top when it goes in the first time. We're going to take it out, pickles, feta, an extra melt, and then we'll put one other drizzle of barbecue sauce on top, barbecue sauce on top to finish. Come on for the ride. Okay, we're back. It was, I was corrected. I may not be fixing something officially today, but technically we're fixing lunch. So it uh, fits under the channel. Uh, so yeah, we got a nice uh, nice layer of cheese. We got the chicken spread on top nice. That's uh, Costco roasted chicken from first thing this morning. Uh, already made our broth. Uh, so that's that's already delicious, tested that out. We're uh, broiling at, not a regular boil, but I like to drop it down to about 450. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, Pop this bad boy in on the middle rack, and we're gonna let this broil for a few minutes, keeping a real close eye on it. All right. Okay, see these are coming along nice, starting to see some of that browning of the cheese on top. That's what we're looking for. Uh, I'm gonna give it about another 30 seconds where we pull them out. All right, let's pull them out here for now. Again, we're starting to see some bubbling of the sauce there. Yeah, a little browning of the cheese. I like that. Um, so we're going to go now, and we're going to hit it with another little um, bit of the barbecue sauce. Like so, see how this goes here. This is a fresh bottle that I just opened because we were getting a little bit low on the last one. I don't want to go too crazy here, but... Uh, Just give it enough to get on there. We will hit it once more. We'll go a little bit side to side. Okay, we don't want the globs. Don't want the big globs, so that that way. A little tricky with one hand here, but now we're gonna hit it with the pickles. I'll cut out nice and small already. This uh, recipe, I always love nachos, but I'd never heard of this before until uh, my hometown, Fredericton, New Brunswick, a place called the Snooty Fox, has uh, had these pickle barbecue chicken nachos. And I was like, whoa, these are killer. So I'm trying to, trying to kind of create it here. Um, okay, I'm gonna get a little feta on here. And we'll get... Okay, there we are with the feta. And uh, we're gonna hit it with one more run here of the, uh, of the Rufus again, being careful not to get it you want to have it spread out. And of course you can have a little bit of barbecue sauce on the side, you know, to uh, to dip. Because you don't want to get these things too saucy. Because you don't want to get the uh, the chips to the point where they're going to get it soggy at all. A little bit of this. Mmm, delicious. So we're going to put these in for another few minutes just to kind of melt that feta a little bit on top. And, uh, yeah, we'll show you. Just while that's cooking, another quick rundown of the product. So, fresh Costco barbecue chicken this morning, Rufus Teague barbecue sauce, Costco. This Greek feta, Costco, totally awesome. I put about that much feta in. I, I split one of these in half and put the other half on top of the nachos. The Saputo Deluxe Mots, K Passa chips, also the Totitos work. Uh, this is non Costco, but any uh, you know crunchy dill pickles certainly enjoy these putters or pooters or however you say that. And uh, I like to pair it with a Montelier lime, bubbly water. All right, let's take a look. Let's see how these guys are going here. Oh, they're coming real nice. I'm gonna give that about another 30 seconds here. I think we're... 
Okay, they're done. I probably might have maybe like 20, 30 seconds. I probably left them in another minute. I probably should have taken them out a little bit earlier. A little crispy on the edge there. But part of why they got burnt a tiny bit is why I was distracted. I remembered I forgot to get these. So these banana peppers. So I'm going to sprinkle a few more of these on here. That's going to give some really nice color and, and a little bit of kick. Those, of course, are optional if you don't like spice. But uh, those ones I find are actually, they say hot and spicy, but I don't find them that bad. So stand. All right, we're going to pull them out. I just popped them in for another 15 or 20 seconds just to warm up those peppers a little bit. Look at that. Unreal. Gonna call everybody down here. Nice little uh, family lunch on a rainy Saturday. So there it is. Costco inspired, Frederick, New Brunswick, Snoo Fox Pub inspired, barbecue chicken, pickle, nachos. Bon appetit.